yeah it's uh, another session again and um, i would like to um, thank all my youtube subscribers for hanging around for all the comments i like and the subscription that um they have given me and i'll continue to urge more to subscribe to the channel if you like my tutorial but right i dedicate this tutorial to rastogi um you have been having difficulties to install um nlab some school management system and then you have been having a database error what you need to do is this you need to install um, a local server first and a local server you can install zamp you can install wamp and then among others any of them that you um, you select to install is up to you after installing um, your zamp or whatever um, um, local server you have decided to install you open any browser of your choice preferably um, google chrome or um, mozilla but i'm using mozilla now if you open you type um, localhost php my admin and that will bring you to um, your database level and on my database level you are now to create a user account so i have user account here i will hit on user account and then it brings me to the user accounts area and currently these are the accounts that i have on my server and i have one account called avanash localhost and then there's a password on it which is yes and then all privileges are granted to it but the rest of um the service um the user's names you can see that I have them without what any um, password on them because there's no password. So now, Rastogi, I'm going to create um, an account for you on my server here and use that account to install um, InLab School Management System on my server. And I believe this will help you to be able to execute the installation. So I'll hit on Add um, New um, Add User Account. Then when I click on Add User Account, then I'm supposed to enter um, an account name so i'm going to use your name um ashi and um, the host is going to be local and then i'll use um, a password of um password one two three one two three then i'll use the same password one two three then i'll hit on um now I'm supposed to grant all privileges to this, so I check um all privileges. Then it selects all um the privileges for that database. Then I hit on the go button. Now when I hit on the go button, your account is created on my machine, and I'm going to use this account to um do the installation of um in lab school management system on my PC for you. Now if I go back to users, then you see that I have an account there with your name. So I have um Ashi here local host and there's a password on it and that is what i'm going to use to do the installation all right so after creating the username ashi i will now extract um my in lab school management which i have it here i right click extract then to extract it on the desktop so let's give it some few minutes um to finish extracting and when it is done i'll be back again all right so it's done i'm um, extracting so i have it here so I'm going to rename it as um, Rastogi. So Rastogi. Rastogi. So now I'm going to move it to um, my ZAMP folder. I'll open computer here. See, ZAMP, ATC docs. Then I'll paste my folder here. So it's moving it to um, my ATC docs. So he's done moving it. So I'll open my browser. Then I'll visit um, the website, localhost, Rastogi. It takes me to the installation process. So now this is the installation process. So I hit on the next button. And then it says enter what? Um, code. I'll select my code. Then I'll hit on the next button. And it takes me to database level. Now at this point, this is where I believe you have difficulties. Now the host name is going to be localhost. Then the database name is going to be um, a database name that we have to create, which we have not created yet. So I'm going to use um, the name of the website to create the database. So the database is going to be Rastogi. So I'll copy Rastogi here. Then I'll go to um, my uh, this thing, PHP admin. Then I'll come to server. Then I'll come to database. Then I have um, create a database. So I'll paste Rastogi there. 
and I'll hit on create database now I'll go back to uh, my installer then my database name is Rastogi and then my username is what Ashi and then my password is what password one two three so I'm done this is the information you need so you have your database which is what Rastogi you have your user accounts which we have here uh, users which is what um ashi which i have it here and the password which was what one password one two three so i hit on next then it will start installing my database so from there i'll select um, my time zone and then i'll hit next then i will start to configure my database so the virus is okay rastogi rastogi school phone number plus nine and then we have an um, email which is going to be ras school at um, gmail.com and then admin name is going to be rastogi and then currency is going to be um um currency you know yeah so i'll shorten them um, okay let me use um my currency so then symbol of currency then username is going to be rasto rasto then password is going to be um um password then address i'll enter in it in there then i hit on next And then my site is done. So we see that this is my username and this is my password. So proceed to login. Then I'm done with my login. Then password, pass, where? Then I'll log in to my database. And then Rastogi, you are there. So you can see how simple and easy it is to install um uh, in lab school management system three and you can see your name and your school name here and every little information has been set for you so rastogi i wish you all the best if you have any difficulties again kindly let me know and leave a comment and then please um get more subscribers for the channel and then like my videos and comments to as well so thank you rastogi i wish you all the best in your installation if you have any difficulties don't hesitate to leave a comment on the video.